Hey, what's up? Welcome to At The Buzzer Live. I'm Kristen Balboni, and although this man beside me is very tall, yeah. I was going to call you a guy, and then I called you a man. So okay, we started fine, it off right? weird. Yeah. We're doing good. You're very tall, but you are not Andy Nesbitt. No, so taller. Let's yeah, that's true. What is up with all the tall people at Fox? I'm 5'2", and is it too much to ask to have a co-host one day that's, you know, normal height, not freakishly tall? No, this is part of a long trolling controversy we're trying to roll is up. Is it? Well, this freakishly tall human to my left is Dieter Kurtenbach. He is a Fox Sports senior writer, and Apparently. I am told a basketball encyclopedia. <laughs> no, that, who told you that? I have sources. Oh, well. Sources close to me. Basketball encyclopedia. You might need to check out your sources. <laughs> I do know a little bit about basketball. I'll, I'll, I'll give you what I got. So obviously we're going to talk about the crazy Michigan State upset. I don't even know what just happened. Maybe you can put it into perspective. Adam, uh -huh. one of the guys that works with us right yeah. now, is hyperventilating on the side. I don't even know what's going on, but that was an insane <laughs> upset. Um, but before we get into that and before we get into fill in the blank Friday, we are going to uh, give a special shout out. Um, We've been telling you guys that if you share, we're going to randomly, if you share this video, if you go right now and click the share button, we're going to randomly pick someone and spotlight them. Yesterday, we had Danica Patrick give a shout out to John Toledo. And today, we have a special uh, sharer. His name is Christian Carver. So we decided to just put him up on the screen, right? Christian, thank you for sharing. Like we said, we just randomly picked it from one of the 90 people that shared our video yesterday. Christian is from Lexington, South Carolina. He's got UNC in his profile picture, which I'm a big fan of, obviously, and uh, he likes NASCAR. So, Christian, thank you so much for sharing. And like we said, if you guys share this video, um, we're going to pick someone tomorrow. We're going to do this live stream again tomorrow. We'll pick you, and uh, maybe you'll get featured. So. That's, that's how I got this job. Is it? Yeah. Were you one of the Were you one of the sharers maybe like a week ago? Yeah. And you said, uh, so Christian, who knows? You might, have, you might be a now senior writer. Now they call me a senior writer. Sports. It's amazing. <laughs> what a coup. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, Dieter... <laughs> Tell us all a little bit about yourself. Oh, man, you're putting you me little, on the spot. Yeah, um, you used yeah, to work I, for the Warriors? No, I used to cover the used Warriors. used to cover the Warriors, excuse me. Big difference, journalistic integrity. Um, yeah, I used to cover the Warriors, used to cover college football, and now I cover both of them at the same time for Fox, and it's a pretty good pretty good deal. I've been here for like two weeks, and I know no one's name, so this is going great. Well, I'm Kristen. Yeah. I'll start that off. Pick that one up uh, based <laughs> on the computer. Um, yes, right here, right here. So you can find us both on Facebook right here, so make sure you go do that. Okay, so we got to get to it, I think. Yeah. We got to get to it. What just happened with that Michigan State uh, upset? What? <laughs> okay, I tweeted, tell me how I'm doing on my basketball knowledge. Okay. Okay. I tweeted that I know two things about Middle Tennessee State, the mm -hmm. team who just upset Michigan State. Number one, they're in the middle of Tennessee. Sort of. Ish. So I didn't even get that part right. I mean, yeah, they are, but not, not like, quite. not dead center. So I've already failed on that. Why don't yeah. they change their name? It's not too late now. Center. They definitely can't now. They have this this great brand going. That's true. It's the first time anyone's heard of them. They can't change their name now. That's true. So geographically unpredictable middle Tennessee State. Yes. I know that, and I know that they just beat Michigan State. So what else am I missing? <laughs> oh, oh, this is, are you okay? Adam went to Michigan Adam's, State. Adam's he's, very he's sad. He's having a tough day. He's doing a lot of sulking. He's and it's, having... Frankly, it's kind of enjoyable. <laughs> um, yeah, Middle Tennessee State, I'm um, pretty sure, won the Conference USA tournament. Conference USA, pretty good basketball conference, and that's how they got in. And uh, I know from covering Conference USA basketball for a couple of years. Oh, you also did that too? I've Just had some bragging. low points, low points in my life. <laughs> and uh, I, they, people were pretty angry that they were a 15 seed. They thought that they were playing pretty hot. So uh, Michigan State didn't want... Thought they should have been a one seed or a two seed. Obviously not. Yeah, I mean, I think that this was a matchup uh, made in upset heaven. You thought so? You thought this was going to happen? No, I picked Michigan State to win. Oh, of course. Like oh, at all? Game. Oh. Yeah, I don't care. Should have gone with my team, UNC. <laughs> no, I definitely didn't do that. <laughs> no. No, that's that's not happening. Which of course means that they'll probably Hopefully. win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, no, I mean, you watch that game. Uh, Middle Tennessee dominated from start to finish yeah. it was great that was the crazy point usually these upsets you know the the underdog team kind of comes up from behind and a couple shots missed by the favorites no this one it was total domination and obviously a lot of that has to do with michigan state just playing a bad game but props to middle tennessee state they, they played awesome you think they have any chance going forward i don't know who they're playing in the next round yeah. but i doubt it yeah they're just gonna get <laughs> they are gonna get beat so bad yeah and it's gonna look even worse for michigan state and it's gonna 
It's going to uh, be even worse for the Michigan State fans in our office, a.k.a. Jovitz and Adam. Uh, you guys, so I felt sad. so bad for them. I did It was I amazing. I totally videoed it. I totally oh, yeah. videoed it and played into it, but I did feel bad as I was doing it. As I was exploiting their sadness, I felt a little bad about it. Yeah, it was, it, as I was telling Mike Foss, uh, it, it was, it's like watching a scary movie. You're not sure where it's going to go. Like, yeah. you, you're trying to enjoy it, but at the same time, you're also frightened because anything could happen That's true. when you get into the pits of despair down there with the Michigan State fans. That's we just true. had a question from Jay Wu. Uh huh. Who wanted to know if Dovitz was okay? Jay Wu, one of our loyal <laughs> uh, viewers, wants Come to on. know if Dovitz is okay. Here is video evidence that Dovitz, <laughs> while we don't, we don't think he's okay, but he is alive. He's screaming inside. Definitely not okay. Pretty heartbroken. <laughs> How are you doing? It's all right. You're, you know, I really thought this was the year for them. I can't help it. It's like it's not funny, but I just <laughs> never thought this would happen. <laughs> and it did, and you they wore sucked. Your stuff. I wore two shirts you even. A, you have two a Michigan State shirts? Yeah, I brought an extra shirt. What, it, to change out of yeah. in case you were, what? It, that, were popping champagne? Totally. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, One of those shirts you know, was Jerry Patterson. Switched <laughs> it at halftime, came back and won. Yeah, you gotta have the, it's all about the lucky shirt. We just sucked, and it's sad. Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? I think I'll be alright. What's the plan? Point, What's the plan for out. Friday night? considering everything that's happened this afternoon. You know, I still have to work, so I'll <laughs> still be watching all these games heartbroken. The worst thing, I, which I think anyone can tell you who's ever worked for a sports company, the worst thing is that when your team loses, yeah. no one here lets you off the hook. Nope. Not nope. at all. Like, there were like 12 video cameras. Everyone one of them was mine in Dovitz's face. No, yeah. I didn't know what was happening. Take that filthy helmet and get out of here. I'll just, I'll just go clear yeah. with it. Get out of here, loser. <laughs> Dovitz, feel better. Sorry for your loss. I'm worried about him. I'm a, I'm a little worried about him, but what's overriding that is the amount of glee. It's a weird emotion I got going on right now. I understand what you're saying. I'm just so glad it's not my team. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I've been. I, I went to Missouri. I'm a mm -hmm. big Missouri basketball fan, which means that I don't have anything to do in March most years. <laughs> uh, but the last time yeah. I remember them being in the tournament, they they lost to a 15 seed. So I know where he's been. Um, yeah. It's yeah. not a fun place to be, but the fact that I'm not in it right now. I'm going to gloat a little. 100% always better when it's not you. Yes. Yeah. That's just a fact. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get started with our fill-in-the-blank game. Yeah. Are you ready for this? No. You, you got it. Okay. I trust you. Okay. Okay. So um, we were just talking about a huge upset in college basketball. So we're going to do a little play on words. <laughs> are you ready for this? Let's get punny. The biggest upset of my week was blank. So we are going to fill okay. in the blank. Okay. Okay. It, we're going to just go right back to the NCAA tournament. Okay. I was very upset with all of my new coworkers when Purdue was playing Little Rock, and some people were rooting for Purdue. No one here went to Purdue, <laughs> as far as I know. I asked. No boy, let me um, It yeah. was a ridiculous basketball game <laughs> and a totally awesome upset, mainly because of how ridiculous it was. Mm -hmm. People were rooting for their brackets, which on it's the fair. first day, no, it isn't. We love the chaos. Yeah, money invested. Well, that's their fault. <laughs> I mean, why, why don't you enjoy the chaos? The reason we love the NCAA tournament isn't because of a bunch of one seeds going to the Final Four. We love it because 12s beat 5s and 15s beat 2s. and you gotta, you got to embrace it. Forget the bracket. Enjoy the moment. So you're saying that... I'm upset with everybody for putting capitalism over chaos. Okay. Now, what do you do in the office when you're upset with people? Do you just walk around and give them like a stink eye? I'm usually like, upset with people, okay. so um, it, it's not. It's not. So they're just like, oh, Dieter's just here at work today. It's yeah, not pretty even much. A, it's not even a thing. Yeah, they figured that out. It's only been like two weeks, and they figured it out. So it would be weird if you were happy with people. Yeah, that's when people start <laughs> getting unsettled. They start wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, start hiding under desks. It's, it's not great. That's fair. Hopefully someone will alert me if that ever happens. <laughs> you're very far away from my desk, so I think that you're okay. The rampage won't go that far. The biggest upset of my week was something that happened yesterday, and um, i got to talk to my co-host about this. Look at this. So we did yoga with Danica Patrick yesterday, and here I am doing a very expert move. Watch this. He starts to try to push me over. He's just jealous you can't, yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, he is, but look at like three times in a row. What is that move called? Birds of Paradise. Why? Joke's on him because I still what? did it. But, like, here's the thing i didn't even notice he was doing it he is six four yeah it's it'd be like you i mean you're gonna pick on me like that like what's no. going on he tried to push me over three times i didn't notice it at the time because i was so focused on my yoga but mm -hmm. andy nesbitt i'm i'm on to you now okay just so you know i'm gonna get you back how much do you think how much practice would it take for me the least flexible mm -hmm. man in the world to do that <laughs> 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know if there's enough practice. I, I, you I might think, have to be. I think I need like some ribs removed. Uh, we can make it happen. I need like four massages and a chiropractor on Maybe. site. Let's see if we can get my class to approve that. I mean, it would be good. It would be good video. I don't know what my healthcare He's plan is no. like. I don't think we should do that. <laughs> He's saying no. But all I want to say is, Andy, I'm coming for you because that was dirty. I didn't like it. It was a big upset for me. We got a scheme. We got a scheme against Andy. I think that we're we'll already, everyone's trying to scheme against Andy at all mm -hmm. times, but now we have like a real excuse as to why to do it. Try to push me over. What is that you about? You could have hurt your head on that. I could have. I could have been injured. Could have been a workplace lawsuit. I don't even know. <laughs> could have taken Fox down. <laughs> All right, the next fill in the blank question. Uh, this one comes from a video we did today. These big macho NHL players mm -hmm. who play in a lot of games are pro athletes turned into these fanboys and they were just gawking when they saw the US Open trophy. It's not Golf even that trophy. good looking of a trophy. Not the best looking trophy, but they were just mesmerized by it. Okay. So is there anything that you would just turn into a total fanboy over and mm. let us know what you guys say too because i want to get uh your responses like what's the thing oh. that if you saw it you would just be like jello um probably gonna lose some journalism credibility here i it's uh, okay we're, it's, we're, <laughs> we're already there why well, start now um <laughs> uh I, I was in miami and uh something just happened something just happened just heard a bunch of oh. Someone tell us in the comments what happened. What just happened? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I was in Miami. I'm a huge Liverpool fan. And uh, and Steven Gerrard was training with the England national team mm -hmm. at the Dolphins Stadium. And uh, I took a picture with him, and I freaked out so much that it came out, like, really blurry and nasty. Your hand was just shaking. I've never actually recovered. I just totally turned to jello. <laughs> I certainly would not do that around that. Tr I mean, maybe the Stanley Cup, but... Not that trophy. That trophy's small. But you had an interesting theory on why hockey players love oh. golf so much, right? Yeah, it's because they're just totally awesome at it. Like, in tr like it's built into the game of hockey is that big swing, especially defensemen. Mm -hmm. So they get these really long clubs, and they all play left-handed, and uh, they can just rake it down the middle of middle of the fairway, man. They're some of the best golfers I've ever seen, like amateur golfers, quote unquote, are hockey players. If awesome. you've ever done a celebrity tournament or anything, they're never, just gonna, yeah, don't. Total ringers, yeah. don't get in there with or them. Or get in their group, which would be great. You yeah. Know? Like yeah. if you can just coast off of them, that's the way to go. Right, hockey players, excellent golfers. Um, a couple of people said, uh, if the Cubs won a World Series, someone yeah. said. Um, but would it be like would the be... trophy? Would they be gawking over the trophy? Would they be gawking, gawking over what? Like, I, I'd say the, the World celebration, Series. right? Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's a little different than one individual piece of tra like silver getting y'all yeah. hot and bothered. I mean, the Cubs winning the World Series, I can totally understand. I'm from Chicago. I'm a White Sox guy, but like, oh. I totally understand. You what say would, you do. What would happen to that city? <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. I've, I've been there. I know. And like, even I would celebrate a little bit, even though I'm pretty anti-Cub. Mm -hmm. But like, like, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the, the World Series trophy. It's ugly. It's just like a bunch of flags. Stanley Cup's pretty cool, I think. And uh, sorry, I'm handing remotes. I'm listening. Yeah, what the hell are you Someone doing? asked me to hand some remotes. I don't yeah, know, but I'm listening. For Iowa and Temple coming. Okay, so we're gonna watch that. Cool. I will just say quickly that mine would be yeah. if I ever saw Michael oh. Jordan anywhere, I would. Oh. I would just lose it. Absolutely lose it. We are I efforting. Two seconds left. We are efforting to get uh, Temple. There's a tie game. Two seconds left, oh. and we want to. All I'm hearing There's is a lot of many noises. Someone tell us what's going on. Oh my goodness. Oh, now we don't have a channel not available. Oh god. Oh, Adam, give us play by play. Sure that, actually, we have rights to that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we need to know what's going on. Fox, everybody. Temple tied Iowa. I'm getting. I'm getting updates from Craig in the Point comments. Eight seconds left, tie game. Point eight seconds Point left, eight tie seconds game. Point eight seconds left, tie game. It, Temple's ball. Okay. Full length of the court. Though. Come on, Philadelphia. <sighs> Guys, I'm nervous. Sometimes my heart rate picks up. I'm not yeah. even doing anything right now. Yeah, my, doc going on. my doctor says I gotta breathe. We got an official review. Uh, Ryan Rosenblatt, our great soccer guy, mm -hmm. said that we should do a one shining moment of just official reviews. Oh, I and like that, that. That would be a really fun way to spend 10 hours cutting yeah. that up. I thought that was a pretty yeah, good idea, so I put him on it. I put him on it. Yeah, we'll we'll see if he comes big, through. Next big project. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, Champions League isn't around for a bit, so he can come through. <laughs> what do we got next? What's next on the fill in the blank? Because I think this official review is going to take like okay, 10 minutes. Okay, if it's taking a long time, we are going to go into something that I think 
you i'm confused about you're heated about and everyone is talking about um it was can we get into like i wrote like 700 words on this i'm looking at the card i wrote 700 words on that topic we can't get that in an official review i'm not gonna have i don't want you to do 700 words but i do want you to give me the gist um it was the biggest story on fox sports yesterday the ongoing fight between adam laroche yeah. and white Sox evp ken williams is blank it's stupid oh yeah it's dumb yeah. I uh, it, okay, I need I need uh, some words on that. Okay, um, Adam LaRoche thinks that he has the right to make every day bring your child to work day. But they told him he could, right? Yeah, At first? within the rights of, like, within good reason, not every single day. Also, that kid should be in school. Like, I'm not a parent, that is an, yeah. but, like, why isn't that kid in school? I, I would I would like to know that not also, in, not like, in the sarcastic way. Do no, you're like saying legitimately. It, I, would, I, do, I am wondering like is is he? I don't have any other tone. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> like why isn't that kid in school? Joseph said he gets homeschooled. I don't know if Joseph. I don't know if Joseph okay. is an official source. I'm but not, that's what Joseph says. <laughs> spending time. Jacob I, says he's an official source. I'm so. not. I'm, we're not good with sources. <laughs> we're not great with sources. I'm not getting into homeschooling. That's like a whole nother level. A different animal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching it. But like, how does the mom feel about this? You're willing to turn down $13 million so that you can homeschool your kid inside a major league clubhouse? Mm -hmm. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. And, like, the White Sox could have handled it a lot better. Is he going to shoot from half court? Oh, wow. That, wow. Was, a, that was not Steph Curry-esque. Did, <laughs> did, did the buzzer go before? That's All right, so we're going to overtime. Okay. Update on that. Also so, with this answer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, I, but it's, I mean, people people are really divided and heated about it. I just don't get why, uh, even if the White Sox told them, and I'm sure that the White Sox didn't handle it tactfully. In right, saying, it seems like, like it, yeah. But, like, come on, what a petty, stupid argument. And for someone to leave $13 million on the table just for the sake of bringing their kid to work every day, that's just, that's just stupid money. I get, I mean, I, I get that he, I mean, he obviously doesn't need the money, and he obviously has strong, a strong conviction about it, which I think is pretty cool in itself. Okay. But uh, I would say my word for it is confusing, because I yeah. feel like it's a legitimate request that the White Sox are saying. Totally. Right? It's a, but then all of the players, it seems like, in the clubhouse right. are behind LaRoche. Chris Sale was talking about how they got lied yeah. to, and, and so they all seem really behind him, so I'm mm -hmm. like, what am I missing? I think that frankly what we're probably all missing is how fractured that white Sox organization is mm. and like i've you know we hear i'm a white Sox fan so i read about it all the time but like kenny williams was the gm of the team when they won that world series in 2005 and then they kind of fired him but promoted him at the same time and they brought in a new gm and they put in robin ventura who had never been a manager before and like so i think kenny still thinks that he has sort of total say over everything and the players and the manager and the general manager i don't think agree and so you're seeing the the mm. schism in yeah. place so and, it's deeper. and it's coming up it's coming up this way but it's still stupid <laughs> even in all the comments people are divided yeah. jeff says well when you're a dad you'll understand okay chad on the other hand says i can't take my girl to work because i miss her i have a job to do which is right. the reality for almost everyone else who's not named adam laroche i'm pretty sure my dad went to work to get away from the kids <laughs> like I, you know I, that was probably also my experience too so <laughs> like i get it like it's cool to bring them around every now and again and i've been in a lot of clubhouses mm -hmm. and there's a lot of kids running around they're not there every day yeah. they don't have their own locker it's also too is it a distraction i mean and the players certainly aren't saying it but is it a distraction for other people how, in the workplace but how but how could any player come out and speak out against some like well-behaved 14 year old that's what i'm saying but we don't know but that could be an issue you know right. for why, totally. why it was I bet, brought up i bet that. a player snitched <laughs> and now someone uh, <laughs> some player so, snitched some player some players like yo get this kid out of my place of business and everyone's like, no, come keep that under wraps, yeah. man. Like, you know, you don't want to mess this up. He's really into his kid. Like, he likes having him around. <laughs> he's, really, he's, <laughs> it's, like, he's like a good dad or he's whatever. He's just like I he's just know. like super dad all the time. Yeah. I, did, I don't I don't understand it. Maybe I'll understand it when I have kids. Probably yeah. not. But uh, I still think it's <laughs> Jeff stupid. was giving you too much credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna get away from those kids, man. Okay, so we are not gonna <laughs> especially 14 year olds. Oh no, that's They're your, the worst. That's your... <laughs> 14 year old kids are the worst people in the world. That's, I can't argue with that. I really okay. can't. That's we got to leave it at that because that's. I think that's something that no one can argue about, unless you're a 14 year old kid. In which case, sorry. I look like a 14 year old kid. <laughs> like I know how bad 14 year old kids are. All right, I get we have our... the movies. <laughs> get carded for your rated R. I love Deadpool. Um, okay, we have boss. one more. <laughs>
I don't even know what just happened with that um, fill in the blank question. But we have one more, and I know that you're really excited about this question. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, nope. Dieter has almost boycotted this question, so yeah. we're definitely making it happen. And this question nope. is something we can all relate to. The food you hate the most is blank. And uh, we talk a lot about food here on At the Buzzer, and we Ooh. wanted to break Dieter in with just what do you hate most in the world? And unbeknownst to you, we went out and got it. Okay. So. First off, Janko lied to me. Well, that's look. Jinko's just trying to produce a good live stream. He's like, he's hey, buddy. You to get hey, there, buddy. Wanna I'm wanna really learn upset. a wanna learn a lot about you. Wanna understand what uh -huh. makes you tick, and uh -huh. just wanna make sure that we never have something like this around because we wanna make you feel comfortable here mm -hmm. at Fox Sports. And then he does this. Yeah, unbeknownst uh, unbeknownst to Dieter. Don't don't you dare open it, man. Don't don't. So just to give you guys a just to give you guys. Um, oh, those are organic. They're Dude. organic, so it's great. Dieter told Jinko no. he hated he hated capers. So we have some beautiful oh. non oh. Oh. Why are they in? Is that oil? I really wish that this was a fake. Caper juice. I wish this was a fake response. I hate cake. So you are like shaking over here. You've got like a tick going. Um, they're sun kissed in the Mediterranean. Uh. USDA organic. So this is so don't. Smell oh, they don't smell good at all. They really just don't. They do not smell good. One bit. So, no, um, no, 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 no. I think you gotta do it. Cause we all have our. No, this is. There, there is literally a zero percent chance. Hold on, I will punch you in the face. I. You sure? You, you don't want to try I am just a little certain bit? I will gladly give up this job. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I, no, no. I am Guys. sweating. So I also what got asked this? this question. Mina. Oh, what is that? Salad. It looks delicious. Oh, gross. So, no, truth be told, I'll, I'll eat this. I, I will eat this a hundred no, times out of a hundred. You don't get to do that. Are you, you going to eat it? Yeah, I got, I, I'm not I, eating this. You don't look, have to do I'm it. I'm committed to the live stream. I'm going to do it. I don't uh, care. Do you see all that nasty mayonnaise? I, I'm going to do it. You're going to sit there no. looking silly because you're not eating your capers. Yeah, no. Yeah. Joke's on me, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Joke's on you, man. You're not eating that thing that you nothing hate. Nothing I hate more than like a potato salad. Why are you doing lot. this? Because it's what we were asked to do. Mina no. said we got to think of your least favorite food foods and oh they don't pay me enough for this oh if you if you yeah. hurl, don't hurl don't throw up yeah. oh oh, God. oh i could bad. feel the repulsion uh, next oh. oh it's bad it's really how bad is it Peter, eat the capers i'm not eating the capers it's like what i imagine <laughs> that's Jim not Fox good would taste that's, like. that's really, really not bad. That's from all the foods or it doesn't matter it tastes like stale milk it doesn't matter we're not sponsored oh. by Whole Foods. <laughs> oh. Are we? No, not after today. Oh, Craig says, come on, man, you got to eat the capers. Can someone grab me a beer? We got something for Danko, though. There's like a little tiny yeah. three-ounce so beer. Yeah, so none of this would be complete. The Mediterranean beer. Even though Dita I didn't know that I signed up to do Fear Factor. Yeah. Like <laughs> Jeff said, get her some water. I totally agree with that. Uh, Joseph says, man up and eat a caper, Dieter. No. Oh, man up. Not doing yeah. it. <laughs> All right, but um, you guys, this I'm wouldn't not, be complete. Not manning up. I will be the, I will be the smallest in Colin right also now. Says man up and eat the capers. Not, not eating, eating a, caper. a caper, you guys. He doesn't care that much about the live stream. I don't care about you people <laughs> and your enjoyment from my suffering. Okay. All right, but we have one more. Um, so we found out that our producer Janko, who is putting us through all of this, yeah, because he's hates, an evil person. This is really weird. The food that Janko hates the most is yogurt. Yeah. So we got Janko oh, some and he yogurt. Got me a good one. He said he might vomit. Janko, can you come me. here, please? Give me. Give him the yogurt. I should have said I hated chocolate or something because yeah. this is this is BS that he gets to eat yogurt. I would have literally said any other food in the world um, had I known that this was what was going to happen. You got um oh but you got oh thank he's you. Got nice blueberry yogurt. Why that? is there like liquid on the top though? Yogurt really freaks me out. It it's is so it is nasty. pretty liquidy when you look at it. It's not good. Janko, dig in. Yeah, that's gross. Oh come on. You guys, Janko might vomit. He said that he might vomit. Um, Joseph said you gotta stir it. That's the key. Thanks, Joe. Come on, Cam Newton. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that was oh. totally real. That was close. <laughs> that was the grossest. No, oh, dude. I can't do it. Dude. Christy says. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat it. Give like it to a, me. I'm the only person up here that has faced their fears today, guys. What's going on? I don't uh, even like yogurt. That whoa, he's had like we might need medical. Chad says I, men don't eat yogurt. You, uh, are hell you, yeah, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even eat it. He's he's having a. a it's okay. You have a caper? Oh, now you two are switching. How cute. I <laughs> ate the potato salad. Capers are delicious. I'm the, only, I'm the only true hero on this live stream right now. <laughs> oh. This is why I don't do it. 
<laughs> you almost oh, killed. Uh, what, is, uh, what is happening over here? That's the buzzer. That's the buzzer. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thanks. Helen called you guys wimps. Yeah. Joe said I get a raise. Thank you. Tell my mm -hmm. boss. Um, whatever. That's cool. I faced my fears. They didn't. And they still both almost threw up. So. I'm, I'm cool with having my fears out there. <laughs> Just all the time. Just a man eating some yogurt I'll drinking beer, not having any capers. This yogurt isn't very good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A lot of fans today, Kirsten. Thank you, thank you. Like I don't want to call myself a hero, but I. Uh, I do. What I did was heroic. Okay, I'm here. The potato salad. He's not eating any capers. Um, so I, I just there's there was literally no gun to my head. So like that's pretty <laughs> that's much later. the only way. Oh, um, yeah. So <laughs> for the buzzer after dark. <laughs> that is. That is. That's later on if you're available. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, there's still like juice and stuff. There's a lot of oh, caper Wait, oil. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> It's disgusting, and I'm going to be frank, I think Dieter's probably had enough of us for today. How do you feel about your first at the buzzer experience? Here, well, here, catch this. No! Do you think it's a... <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that just slid across... What was that noise you just made? No! Well, it will be my no! first and my last. <laughs> I expect Dieter's resignation tomorrow morning after that. Don't oh. worry, he'll get it this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. No, it was fun up until the capers. <laughs> now I'm having a mental breakdown. He is. So we're going to have to wrap this up because that's all that Dieter can take. Um, <laughs> you thought the Michigan State fans were having a bad day. Oh, yeah, he no. He just had caper juice slid across. Adam's him. literally crying. <laughs> Um, so you guys, like we said, uh, make sure yeah. you share this because we are giving a shout out. Share all of just Dieter and his glory today. Please give me. Pretty Yes, give him for sure. Screenshot it on Instagram, tag us. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. Hooray. Also share this post. If you go and share it, we're doing shout outs now. We had, earlier we had Christian Carver. Yeah. Um, we showcased him on here and thanked him. So if you share it, we're gonna pick one random person every day and uh, showcase them and call it our share spotlight. So do that. Tell us what you thought of uh, Dieter not eating the capers and That's me fine. manning up and eating the potato salad because I'm awesome. I stand by my decision. It's fine. Whatever. We'll get you next time. Don't you worry. Yeah, I might not do this again. <laughs> you, have, you have to do it again. And we'll we have find to bring out. you nasty food. Ugh. All right, so we will, we're will. we actually going to be back tomorrow. So we're going to do this uh, tomorrow, special Saturday edition, 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific. So we'll see you then. You sure you don't want any capers? I don't want them. <laughs>